How's it going? I'm a Johnny Jeffries, co-founder of Golden Road, and you are tuning in to the documentary, No Place to Go. Our goal is to bring locals that do skate and locals that don't together to make it known that not only skateboarders, but the city of Rochester in itself needs this skate park. Order your official Golden Road 5K t-shirt right now at www.goldenroad.com or you can wait until July 8th to donate money to our Kickstarter which will be linked on our website. I'm going to keep this short and to the point since I won't be doing all the talking today. Here are some interviews of locals here in your very own city and what they have to say about skateboarding and the progression of the Rock City Skate Park. Thank you for watching. No place to go. Um, having a good time, you know, hanging out with your friends. Well, I go, I go way back to when it first started, skateboarding up and down the roads and the kids getting yelled at and screamed, but uh, uh, now I think about the, the park you guys are going to put in. People who just find an alternative way to be active. For me, there comes a whole culture, including music, um, people hanging out, sharing ideas, and then sharing this common hobby, I guess, that brings them together. Young kids racing around, getting some exercise, getting some fresh air. Stacy Peralta, Logan Christian Hussoy, Jay Adams. I remember when we went from like, you know, just like skating on little tiny plastic boards, and then kids actually doing tricks, man, you know, from like surfing on up. I mean, everything really, you think of culture, you think of how it influences so many people on a whole different level. Uh, I mean, pretty much everyone now does it. Kids having fun, and actually have any activity to do other than being out and causing trouble. Honestly, you. I work. Jo Johnny. <laughs> the way for young kids to challenge, you know, and channel their energy into positive things and some, you know, a semi-pro sport almost damn near. It's recreation land, it's uh, exercise. Uh, my son skateboards, he's 16. I like each, when I'm driving around, I'm like definitely in new cities I've never been to. You, you like kind of just look at the uh, the way the city's built and you kind of like be like, oh, I could skate like this ledge or like, you know, whatever. You go, like you see like a um, like a wax curb and you're just like, oh, I'd totally like to skate that right now. Nice. So I think it was like a group activity kind of thing. Um, it's like, you know, some people go to the movies, some people go bowling. Skating is kind of like a brother thing, you know? Yeah, it's definitely not a negative thing in any way. I think people need to be more aware of people who do skateboard. It's a lot of joy. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. All the good things in life. Skateboarding has definitely influenced my life. Um, I'm from France, and when I lived there, I pretty much hung out at the skate park every day um, down on the beach. So that was where I first got like comfortable in a large group setting. So it's had positive effects for my life, even though I wasn't a skater personally. Not really. No. Not really. Okay. I like. I think people should. I think people should be allowed to skateboard. I don't like how they make it like illegalish. To. I mean, it's like a bike. How can they make it illegal? You know. Generally, they're not a problem, you know. Most skateboarders are pretty cool. When you ask them to do something, they'll do it without hesitation. Safety, too. I worry about their safety because, you know, I see some mad tricks out there doing a lot of crazy things, and sometimes you fall in the street, and that's not so safe. So you probably do need a place to go that's safer and um, where everyone can meet collectively. I don't know. I feel like we're just frowned upon, like... Everyone's against us and like no one just wants to accept us for what we are and we're just skaters and people think we're just rebellious all the time and it's not like that. Actually it's more like I know a lot of people like, especially like cops and stuff, they don't like it. I just think it's it's what you do, it's what your passion is, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you can denounce that. Me, I have wanted to skateboard since uh, I've seen a lot of people skateboard now here. Me personally, no, but I know a lot of the younger kids in the community that do do it, and I think it's a very good activity for them to be in. You no, know, they, they pretty much adhere to the, uh, you know, the businesses' rules or, you know, the, the street rules. 
protected me by giving me sick and confusion because I skate on the sidewalk and a cop says don't skate on the sidewalk. Then I skate on the road and a cop tells me move out of the way. It's like, where the hell do you want me to go? <laughs> Because, I mean, it's sad that they have kids out and, you know, they have a skate park in Greece, one in Brighton, but kids in this area who don't have means of transportation can't go skate in those parks legally. There's no skateboarding signs, like, pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I can understand it at, like, Mugman's and stuff. Like, you don't want to be in the way of cars, you want to be in the way of people doing their jobs. Of course. So I think it would be good to have a place where you could go to just specifically for that. And if they don't want you to destroy their property, then maybe they can make a place for you to go instead of just what are, trying to make it illegal. Yeah, I know more about what where I can't Rochester. skate than where I can skate. I mean, Rochester Action Sports Park is pretty much the only place to go. Other than that, all the police officers give us a hard time. I think it's important that skateboarders have their own place to go because there's so many places that they aren't allowed to go. Um, Pretty much, there's a lot of places all throughout town that somebody could want to enjoy their hobby there, but there's signs saying no skateboarders here and that kind of thing. So I think there's still a lot of discrimination against skateboarders in the public eye. So I think it's really important they have a place to congregate where they're actually allowed to practice their sport. It's safe, because everybody else has their own place to go? Well, one, safety. I mean, I think safety is uh, paramount when it comes to uh, skateboarding to minimize injuries to um, you guys and minimize uh, injuries to possibly motorists that you know try to avoid hitting one of you guys as you're riding your skateboards in the street and then they have a head-on collision with another vehicle. It's important because like we can be around the people that understand us instead of like being around people that don't like us and don't want us around. Um, so basically a place not to get in trouble you know do your own thing and kind of enjoy the people you're around. The, the thing that I believe is that if the city was responsible enough uh, to put places there for people that, I mean, they have places to swim, yep. they have jungle gyms for kids, uh, swing sets, you know, why not? It actually costs less money, like the park down the street for here, for example. It will cost less money to have a vacant lot turned into a little skate area, and there's, there's tons of them in the city. You just put in some metal rails, and you put in some ramps. Time for it, especially like, <clears throat> like everybody's got to have their own little place to just kind of hang out, because if not, then you guys are going to be skateboarding on the streets, which I don't have a problem with, but everybody else seems to. But most of the skateboarders I know will do it themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just say, this is the spot you can go. I feel like kids don't get enough of outside activities as it is, like a lot of kids are in their house. Yeah, it's a bunch of technology, is a big booming era, so people are behind their TVs or their smartphones. Or, yeah, if people didn't have the opportunity to go outside and have some activity to do, then they would not be doing anything. Way overdue for something like this. Where would you, where would you want these people to go, okay? You know, do you want to force them out into the street or do you want to have them into a nice safe park? It, it, it gives all these people with the skateboards a legitimate place to be and a, a, uh, a goal to work towards, which is, is really necessary. Just riding up and down the street, that's a lot of fun, but it doesn't get you anywhere. Where the kids at the skate park and people running that, uh, they, they've got a goal, they've got things that they want to do, they want to have the uh, 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 different uh, paid activities and different people coming in from all over the country, which is a bonus for Rochester and a bonus for the neighborhood. Absolutely. Um, getting the exposure you guys need to get the word out there is, is huge. I mean, getting people to, to recognize what you guys are doing out here is just not being radical skateboarders. You're out here actually for a good cause. Yes, I do because like 
people know about it, but I feel like if they had a visual or like just something with like substance, it would be way more effective. Definitely, I 100% do. The more people they hear about it, they'll see it gives the kids an outlet for something to do other than just, you know, being out and causing ruckus. I think I'll definitely push it, you know, the information out there more and definitely uh, get more exposure. Yes, I absolutely think this is a great idea because I think that, as you mentioned before, even without the finances, if you can raise the awareness, that will change the idea in the community of what skateboarding is. And so um, through that, you'll have more supporters, more people will want to back it up, and I think it'll do good things. A lot more people need to get actively involved in what's going on because, I mean, skateboarding has turned into uh, to me, anyway, it seems like it's almost kind of turned into another sport. Yes. I think if people become more aware about what, you know, just like what's what it's about, yeah, I mean, it's a sport. I mean, there's a lot of young people out there that could be doing a lot worse things than riding around on a skateboard and just wanting to have a good time. Absolutely. As long as you hold the event and hand out flyers and stuff, it's going to grow popularity. You know, the more people you get there, the more awareness you're going to show. You know, you're, you're going to get a lot of non-skaters there who are there to support it and people who don't know much about it. And, you know, it takes awareness for people to be supporters in the first place. So I think the 5K would be, would be huge. Yeah, having something like this would really bring attention to a lot of people. And I, I think it's a great idea. Yes, I think it's a good cause. I think if you bring people who are interested in it and people who are not, um, if you bring them together and you have a good purpose and you have solid um, communication, then it will be beneficial for everyone. And that's what the goal is, right? Yeah, definitely, because it just, I mean, we need to, like, as a community, somehow grow the support, like, every time, every day. And I definitely think an event like this will draw a lot of good attention, especially from different, like, groups of people and everything. I hope so. I hope so. I feel like, just like I've said, like, there isn't a place where kids can go, and that forces them to be in more dangerous areas, like, on the street or destructing property that isn't theirs necessarily. So I think it's definitely a good step forward in gaining awareness. I mean, you get people out here that are making a name for themselves in skating, and uh, yeah, I think it would, I think it would influence people to, to look at it a little differently.